ADHD, like many other conditions, has no single treatment that is right for every patient every time. However, research has shown that medication, in combination with counseling, can go a long way toward combating the symptoms of ADHD in both children and adults. There are two classes of drugs that have been approved by the FDA to treat ADHD, psychostimulants and selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs. Psychostimulants are the most popular class of drug for ADHD cases. It might seem counterintuitive to prescribe stimulants to ADHD patients when one of the symptoms is hyperactivity. However, despite their name, these drugs do not cause overexcitement, but instead stimulate brain activity. Research shows that psychostimulants work by increasing the level of various neurotransmitters, especially dopamine. Dopamine plays a key role in those areas of the brain that help maintain focus and attention. Experts believe this is why ADHD patients respond well to psychostimulant medication. There are four primary psychostimulants prescribed to treat ADHD. The most commonly used is methylphenidate. Others are dexmethylphenidate, amphetamine, and dextroamphetamine. Experts say that 70 to 90 percent of ADHD patients find psychostimulants effective. However, they can have side effects including decreased appetite, difficulty sleeping, and increased anxiety or irritability. These effects are generally minor and often diminish after a few weeks of therapy. A doctor can usually help minimize them by adjusting the dosage. Selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, are the second type of drug used to treat ADHD, specifically the SNRI known as atomoxetine. Though atomoxetine is not a psychostimulant, it also works by increasing the amount of neurotransmitters in the brain, particularly norepinephrine. Atomoxetine is used when patients do not respond to stimulant medications or when the side effects of stimulants are intolerable. But atomoxetine does have side effects of its own. They include increased heart rate, insomnia, and possible liver damage. In some rare cases, if psychostimulants or atomoxetine are ineffective, antidepressants or other drugs can be used to treat ADHD, particularly if the ADHD occurs with other, more serious disorders, such as anxiety. There are many ADHD drugs to choose from, and several factors to consider in deciding which one is right for you, including the drug's effectiveness and its side effects. When you are first prescribed a new drug, be sure to ask your doctor why it was selected over the other drugs available. Also, make sure to ask about the most common side effects and what to do if they occur. Those side effects can appear very soon after treatment starts, so it's important that you and your doctor look out for them, especially in children. Whatever medication is prescribed, it's very important to follow a doctor's instructions exactly. Working with your doctor to find the right medication and the right dosage, you can develop an effective strategy for treating and living with ADHD. For The Answered Patient, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak.